Okay, quick uh, big update here on uh, this uh, EFP. The great thing it can step up and step down, so this is quite unique for MPPT charger. And uh, so I still uh, have here uh, the, the jog dial where you can have uh, now that's 17 minutes and two hours, 18 hours, and six days. Uh, and this is here, and uh, it's also a touch screen, so you can press here. I still haven't uh, made a, a nice user interface for the touch screen, so right now it's only uh, the, the buttons so uh, that I simulate. So now this is constant input voltage, and I quickly go here to the uh, console because here I can also uh, switch here. So now I change to the MPPP. And so you can really see here the, the scan and, and the power curve. So the green is the current and the red curve is the power curve. And, and so you see the, the current. Uh, it's, it's really, uh, so it's, it's trying to get the optimum. And uh, I also have a, a second algorithm which simply checks if it's a bit better to go to the right or to the left. But now, uh, let's stick with the MPP. And um, these both show the same. Uh, it's, it's, it's the output, because the input can go above 60 volt. Uh, and so this will be uh, another setup where I here uh, simply connect the battery and from uh, 24 to uh, 48. If I press here the, the buttons and I get to the menu, that's, they can change the different modes. Uh, no, back, back again. So it's this MPP2. It's uh, it's the input voltage. It's the output current set to two amps. It's the output voltage uh, and it's none. Then you uh, can hear with a uh, uh, potentiometer. These are the DAC values. So zero means so output voltage can be as high as as whatever you want. Uh, right now so because we are below the the voltage we have set here uh, that's input voltage that's a charging battery voltage so if you are in MPPT mode then it's two things it's uh, checking here uh, every 10 seconds uh, if the sun is somehow stable but if the battery is full then um, here you would see an increase of the DAC that's uh, up to 255 so 8 bit the battery is not overcharged. Uh, here, that's the current uh, power at uh, 28 watt, but this one amp and 56, that's uh, the scaling here of, uh, of, of, the, of the four graphs. So, um, I, I spent some time here. Uh, as the the Wi-Fi is not yet, but here we have the rotation. And, and so really, uh, you could you can change the rotation, which is safe to the setting. And, and and so yeah, this is quite nice. Uh, and that's all because you see, yeah, <laughs> the PCBs uh, did arrive, and and there are two uh, two f errors on it. So the the gate and uh, and source of the little MOSFET to to power the LED is different, and but that's okay. You can. <laughs> mount uh, the, the little SMD tuners uh, vertically and then connect the, the one pin that's standing up upwards directly here to the to the LED pin. And the other thing is that uh, here the, uh, this, uh, from the ESP one pin simply was not connected by the free router and so you uh, but it's it uh, it's, it's here. It's from there, and you can have to directly con first solder in the SMD uh, resistor here, and then you can simply uh, connect it to the power. And so these are still in use. I've ordered five, so if someone in Europe... Uh, I, I, I could ship it to you uh, if you really uh, have uh, the, the, the motivation to to really join, join this GitHub here. You see, it's really, it's quite uh, very cheap hardware. Uh, I still, that's why here these uh, multimeters are still 
I'm not uh, super ex um, confident uh, of the efficiency uh, because this LT8705 might be a Chinese clone and it, it gets hot <laughs> but no, not of course now with, with no sun uh, so let's hit a button again to turn it on ah yeah I, I think I, 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 I could pull should have done it in the beginning um, of course you see if it's making 200 watt uh, and and its efficiency of step up which is uh, always uh, not as efficient as, as step down uh, and so 10 percent of 200 would be 20 watts so 20 watt of course going to be hot and that's uh, for the next version uh, i hear uh, put here as like like this one uh, a two pin connector for a fan uh, just uh, uh, end channel pulling to ground so there's a 5 volt here so you can uh, connect a 5 volt uh, uh, CPU uh, cooler to, to the back side and uh, what I might also uh, like to do is here to to switch uh, <laughs> that you solder it in uh, opposite because then you, uh, this uh, USB-C connector um, is below and I did need to solder here this one uh, extremely uh, with, with two millimeter spaces so all the pins uh, only just uh, getting through the PCB uh, so, so that I uh, could stack them and so here of course this would need a, a captain tape here on the SD uh, the SD is connected uh, to to but it's um, here not on the code so you have here the main code uh, and here there's a ESP uh, display and and uh, no net yet and this is uh, just a touch screen library and, and so you could add a SD card and for this you see that's the usual way but uh, I, I've already here that that would be soldering opposite it might would be easier to solder here so you do not damage uh, some some little SMD components so it's it's of course possible and so you might tell me what you think of this uh, I will still keep here this uh, uh, this uh, version 1 uh, version 2 as I said here will we'll have uh, this um, socket for the cooler and I have already ordered uh, lots of uh, different uh, LCDs and, and uh, e-displays uh, because you see <laughs> it's annoying you don't see it so I have uh, here with a PVM analog right I turn it on every 10 seconds so yes yeah, that uh, because it's really <laughs> It's nice to have this uh, this great color here and, and, and the different graphs, but uh, basically what you want to know is here the power output. So, uh, so that's basically <laughs> all you need. And so it might really all this nice uh, touch and, and color at uh, TFT is not really that useful. But as I said, this is, uh, should be a universal DC DC, and and so I've already uh, another uh, uh, use case. So that's a, so that's a heater of a water heater in, in my train station. Um, I have also there four kilowatt of, of solar power, but I still need to put the oven on and, and heat with with wood to to get my water hot. And so I've ordered uh, cheaply from 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 China uh, such a heating cartridge, and and it's uh, 24 volt, 800 watt. But here is uh, this uh, nice uh, 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 universal. I can also program it to you see if there's sun, then I increase the voltage, and so I could. Uh, um, controls the power of this uh, heater from from 100 watt to one uh, to 2000 watt uh, only with a 24 volt uh, 800 watt uh, heating cartridge and and so this is uh, again a nice uh, use case and also when i was driving with my new uh, uh, little uh, e electric truck and battery was uh, really going down and I had this uh, 24 volt uh, from my from my um, solar camper it's nearly one uh, 700 watt hours would be 700 to uh, 7 to 10 kilometers uh, range and and so you just uh, charge upwards from 24 to 40 
48 volt and so uh, lots of use cases and as i said in the beginning this step up step down usually uh mptp uh, chargers uh, you have to about one point at optimum is 1.5 uh, of the um, battery voltage because you always have to step down and when the solar panels get hot uh, the, the mppt reduces so you have to go above and but then you see you, you, you quickly uh, end up with an open voltage of 130 volt and 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 so that's you need uh, the mosfets uh, need to uh, take uh, 130 or this 150 volt of these 60 amp chargers and so it's, it's a nice idea you see if you have a 24 volt battery then you can use two 12 volt panels and it's it's okay if the voltage gets a bit low because this this thing can step up yeah uh, that's it let's go back to here you see here you can see the the, the mppp uh, uh scans uh, so it's really then here the optimum 10.9 and that's the DAC. It's not perfect. So if uh, I come back uh, later half an hour and there was not enough sun, then uh, it, uh, it, it turned off the machine because the uh, MPPP voltage went up to, to above the open voltage. Uh, but uh, this, that's the idea of this uh, GitHub. So really, uh, please... Uh, <laughs> Uh, join here and you, the code I will put everything online and, and yeah that's here also uh, this is the old one with the OLED display but it's easy to adapt here to the to the TFT and or later uh, EDE uh, display and and here the code that's the old code uh, but uh, I will put the, the new code uh, online yeah bye bye sorry no sun in april uh, really is snow rain uh, clouds and, and, and no sun and so if you hear at the, the battery voltage uh if you did see here that the white line uh, go down a bit that's a two kilowatt uh <laughs> heater here in inside my my, my tiny tiny camper uh, i got going on